everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, CJ. This is CJ. And today we're gonna be doing a YouTube tradition, a rite of passage, baby. The 1K q and I think I mentioned this in an earlier video. I recently hit 1K, very exciting. We're loving it. Spud's gonna bark. <sighs> Spud, it's a squirrel. Be right back. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm back. So embarrassing. He's bad, what can I say? Okay, so I asked on Instagram. I would have asked on YouTube, but I don't have the like post, create a post community ability yet. I don't know why, but I asked on Instagram if anyone had any questions about books, my life, me as a human, whatever. So we're going to answer some. So let's start with the hard hitter, favorite video game. I would have said previously that my favorite video game was Animal Crossing. And it is probably the video game I've played the most in my life. I've played every iteration of it from GameCube to DS to the Switch. And I've logged hundreds of hours. It is something that I will like binge on and then step away for a while. But I would say my actual favorite video game is Stardew Valley, which is another simulation game. And it's really fun and like there's like lore and plot involved and like little side quests so it's not as monotonous and like pure as Animal Crossing is but it gives you the same like quaint vibes and the developer is constantly updating it for free and like releasing new versions of it to download that have more story playing ability so I really really like Stardew Valley. Next question, I'm looking at my phone. What do you do as your day to day job and do you like it? Uh, I am a producer or project manager uh, the titles are kind of interchangeable within the advertising industry. I really like the current agency that I'm working at. Uh, they do a lot of work with video game clients, particularly with Electronic Arts and The Sims. Um, so my main client is The Sims, which is so fun. And like piggybacking off my last question about video games, like I've been a player of The Sims and like simulator games my entire life. So it's just like really fun to be able to be on the other side of it and like see things before they come out. I kind of like fell into this career. I do like it. I think it plays to my natural strengths and it's, I would say like I'm well compensated for just having an art school degree. So <laughs> I like it. Ooh, okay, next question. Hot Cheetos or Takis? Hot Cheetos definitely it has way more nostalgia for me. Every day in high school we had like a, a snack bar that you could go to instead of getting cafeteria food and i would get a bag of hot cheetos and then the lunch ladies would cut them open and pour nacho cheese in them and you could eat them with a fork and two chocolate chip cookies and a blue gatorade and i ate that for four years of my life so hot cheetos for sure i can't believe there's not a vegan version yet yes i've tried pitos no they are not the same it's a book that you feel like is your thing but you have no interest reading that's an interesting question i'm gonna say the luminaries which supposedly has a really interesting structure that kind of aligns with astrology and all of the different astrological signs and like the moon is a main character who has like interference with the signs my friend kieran actually recommended it to me and i ordered it but it's like extremely long so i have no interest in reading it even though it sounds like it's gonna be extremely suited to me uh i'm scared to read it i ordered it i'm gonna own it maybe i'll read it one day you believe in ghosts and aliens hell yeah i do um my grandpa my dad's dad actually worked at area 51 when like in the early 50s when they were doing a lot of experimentation of you know, Area 51 said said um, non-humanoid life sources were taking place and he swore up and down till the day he died that aliens are real. So that's enough for me to go on. Ghosts are definitely real. I mean, there has to be some other realm other than this hellscape called Earth. <clears throat> and I've had a couple supernatural experiences in my day. Are there any classics on your reading list? I know you're not a classics person, but I want to read Virginia Woolf. I've said that before on this channel. Still haven't gotten to it. And I'm open. I'm down. I want to read some of the Russians. I want that big brain energy. Someone needs to like curate a classics reading list for me based on my current taste in like contemporary literary fiction. And I'll do it. I'll do it. I just like it's such another world to try to decipher and get into it seems like a really big step right now do you know your big three are you into astrology absolutely i'm a pisces sun 
cancer moon scorpio rising so i am a triple water sign it's a lot every day's a struggle it's cursed i was literally born emo i had no chance in this world astrologically speaking but i am into astrology i think it's so fun and informative and such a good like framing of people's personality types and it's it's like real and true so many more times than it's not what is your hair care routine what products do you use i use a shampoo uh for like fine hair my hair is pretty fine and i don't condition it now that it's short which is i think bad i need to start conditioning it but it just doesn't seem like there's any reason to um so i just use shampoo and then i get out and i do nothing it's probably not the answer you wanted but it's just i've never known how to do my hair what's the best sandwich damn okay so now that i'm vegan i would probably say a tlt which is like a tempeh version of a blt i love tempeh there's a bar in portland specifically called hungry tiger which is like a vegan trash food bar and they have like such a delicious tlt for some reason it's like homemade garlic mayo on it too mm, love it before i was vegan i always loved like a turkey cranberry moment like a nice pairing of turkey and a fruit i liked that and i also love a cuban a nice pressed cuban sandwich delicious what's your favorite spud moment i love anytime spud shows me affection he's definitely like obsessed with kiki ride and dies for kiki and it's actually pretty annoying because i'm his original mother like he came into our lives so i just feel betrayed by him on like a serious level at the core of our relationship <laughs> so anytime spud like goes out of his way to hang out with me or like come to the couch to like snuggle with me instead of kiki is my favorite moments because i'm i feel like the chosen one why is kiki called kiki there is a dog in my friend group called Kiki. She's a chocolate lab. No, she's a black lab, actually. I'm sorry. And uh, she is kind of a legend. She has a life of her own. We started just calling things Kiki. We're like, oh, that's so Kiki. This is like years and years before I ever met my Kiki. And then I met Kiki and I was like, he looks like Kiki the dog. Like they're just both sweet puppies. Um... So no exciting reveal there. He just looks like a dog I love. <laughs> and it caught on. I'm sorry, Kiki. I can't call him Brandon. Brandon is his God-given name. Sorry, late 80s babies, but that's not working for me. If a store doesn't have self-checkout, how do you steal oranges asking for a friend? I love that I'm a fucking produce thief. Um, I don't know. I don't know, Michaela. I'm sorry. I think... I think you have to have self-checkout. Go to a different grocery store and ring it up as something else. The CJ stand for? It stands for Sierra Jane. I think I have been going by CJ firmly probably since I was about 12 or 13. Don't, don't love a Sierra Jane moment, but my family can and still does call me that. What do you do to take care of yourself when you're feeling extra down? It depends if I wanna wallow in it or get out of it. I think those are like different vibes. If I wanna wallow in it, which sometimes you need and you should allow yourself to wallow in it, I don't make any effort to like try to force myself to move out of that mindset before I'm ready to. So like genuinely yesterday, I didn't get out of sweatpants and kind of just lumped around and went to bed at 8, 8, 8 p.m. because I was like exhausted and just like not feeling it and how do I take care of myself when I'm feeling extra down? if I want to get out of it I'll like start implementing back the things I know that give my life structure and routine i.e. a actual morning routine moving my body I hate that this is real you guys but exercise is real and endorphins are real movement is real and it will Make you feel better like even just stretching on the floor i like have a foam roller and i'll just like roll on that haphazardly and pretend it's doing something and it does that releases those good good chemicals <laughs> least favorite animal based on what you feel their personality would be like like most most big prey birds right like i feel like they're all like secret cops like a, a big falcon or like a bald eagle the patriotism tied to America and like the vibes they emit are just cop vibes. Top five favorite fruits. 
sumo oranges as we've uh, been talking about on the channel lately any crisp apples probably the best apples i love like a perfect red summer cherry i love cherries i can't wait till it's cherry season again that's three um strawberry honestly they're good all the time and then fifth what would my fifth favorite fruit be watermelon but like a good watermelon with salt on it what's been your most favorite part of booktube the most rewarding aspect definitely the friends uh i've said this before but it's so cute and wholesome how i don't know like neighborly and genuine and sweet that the booktube community is and i genuinely have friends for life now which is amazing if you and kiki were any rom-com movie what would it be the only rom-com i can think of right now is forgetting sarah marshall because i love jason siegel and like i do feel like i am jason siegel and i would write a rock opera with vampire muppets and he would be mila kunis and like be a sexy young thing that like pulls me out of my comfort zone and out of my depression so i don't think that's real but that's what we're gonna go for you wrote a book what authors would you want to blurb it oh my god <sighs> depends what the book would be about right but let's just generalize this i think lauren euler like if we're going for a young gun contemporary person who i think is going to be really important within the canon lauren euler i think Rebecca Solnit, she's just a classic to me. People have to be alive probably, right? I'm gonna say Deborah Levy. It's kind of like a basic white woman answer, but that's my trio for right now. Favorite TV podcast. We know about your music and books. I feel like you're not a TV person. Uh, I am a TV person. I mean, we watch a lot of TV, not super recently since we've been quarantined because I feel like it depresses me being in the same room and like staring at a screen and then going to look at the other screen so that's like why i've had a big kick in my reading um but what are my favorite tv shows we're watching succession right now and i love it i love like a family drama i would say i like bad tv though i think i like bad tv like i love gilmore girls and i love um what else do we love party down I loved Party Down. We loved when Game of Thrones came out. I wish there was like anything in the culture that could bring us together like Game of Thrones once did. I mean, I like I like good TV too. Like I, I'll watch the good HBO shows, uh, but like I'm not a huge TV person, I would say anymore. At least in quarantine, that can change again. Erish and I window shop dresses for all my post-pandemic social engagement fantasies. I don't know. I love shopping on the Real Real, which is a luxury consignment site. If you're not from America, I think they have like different versions of that in other countries too. Uh, but you can like look up any designer that you love. Like I love Mara Hoffman and Rachel Comey, for example. And they're so cheap on the Real Real. Like I feel like if you go to eBay or Poshmark, since it's user generated pricing, sometimes it'll be really high, like higher than you're gonna wanna pay for something that's second hand, even if it is designer. But the real real is like, you can get a dress, like a, a designer dress for like 120 bucks. So I love just like endlessly scrolling on it and it's updated really frequently. Dave books as a teen, uh, all of the emo YA shit. So like perks of being a wallflower. I don't know if anyone read those like crank and like, glass and like uh whatever they were called i'll put the covers here they're all about like substance abuse for teens they're really dark actually in retrospect uh i also read like all of the gossip girl books which were very different from the show i also love the show back to trash tv uh what else did i like loved harry potter i mean come on and about it i mean like whatever YA was popular in like 2007 to 2010, I'll have to Google that, but that's probably what I was reading. TV Guilty Pleasure is definitely Vanderpump Rules, which is a Bravo reality TV show. Almost all of the cast members, I think, have like been kicked off the show now because they're extremely racist and like problematic, flawed human beings. But the early seasons of Vanderpump Rules is genuinely like the best reality TV you'll ever watch in your life because no one was famous off of it yet. It was like far back enough that like 
there wasn't really the cult of social media for them to try to pursue their own careers outside of the show and it was so messy genuinely all the cast on that show have slept with each other and watching it from start to finish is a journey if spud could read what would his favorite book be probably something stupid and like for jocks uh, we always joke that Spud's persona is like a football player jock because he's kind of a bonehead. He's like, what's up, man? Like, all he cares about is being keto, lifting, his next protein shake. Um, what would fit that vibe? Probably like American Psycho. <laughs> Who's the hottest booktuber named Jalen? Um, it would probably have to be this hot booktuber I know named Jalen. What is your fave lipstick and also your least favorite movie? I like the Glossier uh, uh, tinted lip balms, whatever those are called. Not the balms, but the lipsticks. And my least favorite movie is probably A Star is Born. That's the first one that came to my head. I can't believe that got nominated for actual Oscars. I thought it was like a trash joke movie that was supposed to be on Hallmark and it wasn't. All right, one last question. What is the most optimal pasta shape? Damn, dude. I mean, a hard question. Bucatini? Bucatini. Yeah. Hey everyone, I hope that was fun. Hope it was cute. Hope you learned something. Um, thank you so much for 1K. What a journey. And I'll be back later. Love you. Bye.